Hey, it's time to do some magic on the mushrooms. Hey, I'm still here. See what I did? Actually, there's no magic. I just do focus stocking. Hi everyone. For those who want to know how I make this mushroom photo effect, let me show you in action how to do focus stocking of my mushroom photos. Since an aperture of f2.8 has a shallow depth of field, I took many shots while changing the focus for different parts of the mushroom. For this exercise, I picked 8 photos. FYI, I took all the shots at 1 over 25th of second. As shown here, I have already input my mushroom photos into Lightroom. Let's bring these photos into Photoshop for focus stocking. At first, click the first photo. While holding down the shift key, go to the last photo and click. Now all the photos are selected in order. On the select photos, right click on the mouse and go up to add that in and you see the menu bar on the right go down to the bottom choose open as layer in Photoshop this will open Photoshop now now we can see all eight photos shown as layers on the right first I like to align all layers so I can surely focus stock the mushrooms. Let's pick the first layer. Press down the shift key. Move the cursor to the bottom layers. In doing so, I select all the layers together. Now go back to the top menu. Choose Edit. See a pull down menu bar? Go to the bottom and click Auto Align Layers. A little window open up. Make sure the Auto button selected. Click OK. Don't worry about the edges of the photo for now. I will crop the final image later. With the layers still selected, go back to the Add menu bar. This time, we select auto brand layers. See the little window? Make sure we pick the stack image button and click OK. Once Photoshop has finished branding all layers, the final image will appear at the top here. The final step to do is to go back to check on the photos. If the address is not perfect, we can still fix it. We can choose the crop function here to cut off unwanted edges. But in this case, our photo is perfect. So we do not need to do that. Just go straight to the top menu. This time we choose File. And then come here to choose Close. Once it click Yes here, the photo will be saved, and my job is done. Now we're back to Lightroom, and this is the final image. Thank you for watching. Please like us and subscribe. See you next time.